A-level maths, paper three predictions, and last minute exam tips coming from a girl who got an A-star. Paper three was actually my best paper. I got 98%, I only lost two marks. And it was on the stupidest thing. You'll never guess what it was on. It was on probability. There's no time to waste. I'm not about to waste any more of it. So this video is going to be less than two minutes long. However, I have posted an extended version on YouTube. Check the link in the comments and my bio if you want to check it out. So this paper is split into statistics and mechanics as I hope you know by now. If I were you, I would revise them both as if they were completely different subjects. And the beauty of doing this is that you can spend more time on either mechanics or statistics depending on where your skills lie. If you do A-level physics, you're probably going to find mechanics easier. If you do A-level statistics, you'll find statistics easier. That's why I found it so easy. Or in further maths, if you do further statistics or you do further mechanics, this is going to be really helpful. Let's start with statistics tips. In statistics, you need to understand what is going on. And I can't lie, year one, year 12 statistics, it's, it's not difficult. It's very easy to be like, oh, I know what's going on and just kind of coast by. It's where you get to, oh, you know, yeah, this is a discrete variable, this is continuous. If you don't thoroughly understand that, you're going to really struggle when it comes to the normal distribution, normal binomial approximation, hypothesis testing, and don't even get me started on standard deviation. If you thoroughly, thoroughly understand these things, hypothesis testing for correlation or normal distribution testing will be a walk in the park. But everybody freaks out about the hypothesis tests because they didn't thoroughly understand the things that came beforehand and particularly about standard deviation. Go and watch a video on it. Mechanics. Now I got 100% of mechanics and it was my worst area of A-level maths. I only did so well because I spent so long revising it. Unlike statistics, mechanics is hard from the get-go. As in, they pulled those Subat equations out and I was like, what is this? Please dedicate time to understanding those core concepts. Don't even try and do something complex like integrating a vector if you don't know why you're doing it or even what DT means, respect to time. Do you need to understand why you're doing these things to apply them to a new setting. And with mechanics, it really is just about going from the bottom up. You cannot move on to the next topic until you've understood the one before. Now, stats and mechanics predictions. Statistics, they like to throw something a little bit sneaky at you, but you have to really read the question to make sure you're doing the right thing. Mechanics, they'll just give you something really hard. At least in my experience of doing loads of practice papers, this is what I recognize. In terms of topics, stats, you'll get some really easy questions, I think, on probability, correlation, central tendency. But then I think you'll get a big one on hypothesis testing. Mechanic, big ones are projectiles, connected particles, variable and constant acceleration and moments. Be sure to check out the extended version of this video on YouTube.